Just hours ago, advocates for the LGBTQ community made their voices heard at the State Board of Education meeting. This as the state superintendent announced today a brand new school choice resource for families. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson was there as these developments came down and has all the details. Thursday's meeting was the first since we got the full medical examiner's report on the death of Owasso teen Nex Benedict. The tragic loss of the student who identified as non-binary is still impacting many across the state. The policies at this board under your head, sir, have created targets already or have created targets on already vulnerable children and uses them for pawns for your personal political gain. Advocates for the LGBT community not holding back when it came to sharing their views on state superintendent Ryan Walters and Oklahoma's top public ed officials. In light of recently released information on Next Benedict, Walters expressed his condolences for the teen's family and had his own response to activists and the media. They wanted to use the death of a child to support the political agenda. And I think it's absolutely disgusting. Jacob Levicki took issue with Walter's statements and said that fellow members of the gender nonconforming community should have a place in Oklahoma. These advocates say bullying is a huge issue impacting LGBT identifying students at school. You mentioned a woke mob. You mentioned radical left wing group. But I am not a woke mob superintendent. On the school choice front, Walter shared that the department is rolling out an office of school choice. He said Oklahoma will be one of the first states in the nation with this resource. We want to make sure that parents have one place to go where they can navigate what their options are with their child. And on the charter school front, three different schools trying to get off the ground had further action on their appeals for school sponsorship pushed back until late May. Those are P3 Urban Montessori, Proud to Partner Leadership, and Willard C. Potts Academy. I'm Tom Ferguson reporting. Now back to you.